One theory I have been exploring since I began researching ceremonial stone landscapes is that the stonework may have originated during the time of a massive glacial lake that once dominated the Connecticut River Valley. Around 12,000 years ago, the valley was filled with glacial meltwater dammed by a large terminal moraine in Rocky Hill, Connecticut, and stretching up to St. Johnsbury, Vermont. This lake is known as Glacial Lake Hitchcock. I started investigating this theory after realizing that the vast majority of stonework in the area seems to align with the ancient shoreline, and most of the stonework around the shoreline rests on bedrock. With the help of geologists from Vermont and New Hampshire who generously shared maps of the lake's former extent, I was able to identify locations worth exploring to determine if this theory warranted further research. One of these locations is a local hiking trail network, where I found stonework similar to that found in other areas. It begins just above the ancient shoreline. The photo shows the starting location of the wall, looking down the slope towards the river valley. The stonework doesn't enclose or mark any property, and at one point is heavily buried. This stonework is represented by the pink line within the white square on the LiDAR image. As you can see, multiple walls start above the ancient shoreline. The LiDAR image also shows squared-off farm fields, which is expected as this area was part of the sheep boom of the 1800s. Traditionally, all stonework in the region has been attributed to that period. If only it were that simple. There has been over 12,000 years of human presence in this landscape and attributing all stonework to the last 250 years, or, to be more accurate, to the 40-year span during the sheep boom, 1800 to 1840, ignores the indigenous history that may have begun when Glacial Lake Hitchcock still existed. Dismissing this possibility is a willful disregard of the deeper, more complex history of the land. This history deserves further study to better understand when the tradition of creating ceremonial stone landscapes began.